it is something like this so here as it is resting on its slant edge on the hp that means that is the axis inclination keep the axis perpendicular to hp then you will get the true shape and size of the base in the top view something like this in the second stage axis inclination can be represented taking this slant edge on the horizontal plane so second stage is something like this observe the second stage this slant edge is lying on the horizontal plane that means here axis inclination is represented so as the axis is inclined to hp keep the axis perpendicular to hp in the simple position you will get the true shape and size in the top view start the problem from the top view then project the front view in the second stage represent the axis inclination then project this final top view that is the problem so here start drawing by taking an xy line then project the top view so this is 100 mm dia so another top base this bottom base top base is 38 dia divide this into some eight parts this is the axis bottom base is named as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 top base is a b c d e f g h then take the axis this axis length is 75 then project the bottom base here you will get 1 dash here 5 dash here you will get 2 dash 8 dash 3 dash 7 dash 4 dash 6 dash then here take this 38 dia with respect to the center of this side of this side then project the slant to represent this slant surface take two generators like this and this point is a dash here you will get b dash and h dash this is c dash and g dash here d dash and f dash then e dash so when you are seeing like this this b is visible h is invisible that's why b dash and h dash has written here then c is visible g is invisible so c dash and g dash d is visible f is invisible d dash and f dash this is e dash in the same way on the bottom side also 2 is visible 8 is invisible that's why 2 has written first next 8 that is the notation then consider this slant edge on the xy line to represent the axis inclination so here take a random point call that as a from that random point take this length this length is nothing but this a1 length measure this a dash 1 dash length with compass and mark that here then you will get 1 dash next to get e dash point from a a to e dash this radius you take and a as center draw an arc this a dash as center a dash e dash as radius draw an arc then this 1 dash to e dash this particular length you take with compass 1 dash as center draw another arc this intersection point is e dash that means this point now draw a line joining a dash and e dash next to get this 5 dash point take 1 dash sorry to get this 5 dash point take a dash this a dash to f dash this particular length that means this line length as radius a dash as center draw an arc then 1 dash to a dash this particular length as radius 1 dash as center draw another arc this intersection point gives 5 dash now join the e dash 5 dash and 5 dash 1 dash points you get the same shape here now join this midpoint and this midpoint and take these lengths and mark all those lengths here this is the total reconstruction then draw the projectors from this front view locus lines from this top view when you are seeing from the from here to get the top view this base is visible this base is invisible so that you can notice in the animation just so here first time projecting all the points 
so these are the a b c d e f g points so here these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 points so this is visible first draw the visible one then draw the invisible one so here the final front end top you have to draw as thick line this initial top and front you have to draw as normal line this thick when you are seeing like this this is visible this is invisible 